Weird Animals, Episode 1. Have a look at this creature. Depending on who you are, you might call it hideous or even cute. I would say it's a strange looking amphibian. But it's not the outside aesthetics that make this animal weird. Or is it? The Suriname toad, Pipa Pipa, or star fingered toad, is actually a species of frog that is native to South America. It can be found in Suriname, obviously. Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guiana, Peru, Trinidad and Tobago, Venezuela, and the overseas French territory of Guiana. The Suriname toad looks like a leaf in shape and is almost flat. They are typically 4 to 5 inches or 10 to 13 centimeters in length but some have been recorded as large as 8 inches or 20 centimeters. The Suriname toad has no tongue, no teeth, and very small eyes. They live an almost completely aquatic lifestyle and can stay submerged for up to an hour before surfacing for air. Now I've rambled on with a bunch of potentially useless information without answering the main question of this video. Why is the Suriname toad weird? The answer lies in its means of reproduction. Like many amphibians, the Suriname toad reproduces by amplexus, or external re reproduction. During this reproduction, the male mounts the female and they flip in arcs during the process. The male simultaneously fertilizes eggs as they are released by the female. During each arc, females release between three to 10 eggs. During the entire process, which can last over 12 hours, between 60 to 100 eggs are produced. The male catches the eggs with his body and plants them on the female's back. It is the male's responsibility to make sure the eggs stick to the female's back. However, roughly one-fifth of the eggs normally fail to be implanted and sink. The eggs, several days after implantation, sink into the skin. Eventually, the female's back looks like an irregular honeycomb. Here, the eggs will go through the tadpole stage, and when they are fully developed, there will be small toads that emerge from their mother's back. Yes, it is what it seems. They dig their way out of their mother's back, causing a nightmare for those suffering from trypophobia, or people that suffer from fear of holes. The babies go on to live solitary lives. After the babies leave, the mother sheds that layer of skin and prepares for the whole process once again. The mother literally carries her babies on her back. The Suriname toad is a weird animal because it does childbirth differently. <laughs>